Hello. Today on the channel World Countries we will again talk about Turkmenistan. I am forced to return to the story about the country due to the fact that the first version was far from being false. In terms of the review of the social and economic fields. So, let's begin. The authorities of Turkmenistan significantly embellish the harsh reality, trying with all their might to preserve the dicta. Or ship in the country. Currently, Turkmenistan is a kind of plagiarism in North Korea. Men under 30 cannot travel outside the country, even with a military ID. And not only men. Entry into the country is also complicated. The share of refusals in a Turkmen visa reaches 98%. Open borders would be beneficial for the economy, but dangerous for the regime. Who knows? that these tourists here still we L photograph in order to return their citizens to the country the authorities are seriously reflecting on how to use the children of citizens as a return tool in the free sale of currency dollars and euros almost none the real currency exchange rate is several times undervalued since at the money changer on the black market it is around 20 monad per dollar and the authorities declare of 3.5 monads per dollar under the current rules individuals can buy dollars or euros for an amount not exceeding their monthly salary the avas resort area has been created in the country but it is almost impossible for an ordinary turkman to get there rest here mainly civil servants police and military which is prohibited to travel abroad in principle vouchers for ordinary citizens re very expensive Rumor has it that if Burdimakami Duff comes to rest, then all holidaymakers are either locked in rooms or simply evicted without a refund. In Turkmenbashi, Krasnovods, the servants of the regime are blocking everything, and the entire vacation can go down the drain. Fishermen are forbidden to go out to sea, their boats are heavily guarded a week before the ruler's appearance and another week after it, so they are not used. The Council of Elders of Turkmenistan declared, we live so well. In an era of power and happiness that the people of the country can pay for gas, water, and electricity without any problems. Can they? Hardly. Thus, the average salary in the country is $200, and T.E. pension is $30. If earlier citizens were supposed to have up to 200 liters of gasoline every month, now gasoline is paid for and constantly rises in price. Over the past year, the country's popular Ion has been confronted with job cuts, including the dismissal of working pensioners, a sharp rise in prices, including food and essential goods, medical and public services. In October 2017, the government of Turkmenistan decided to abolish the benefits of providing water, electricity, and gas to the population, which the population of the country enjoyed for 25 years free of charge. Meanwhile, he president receives a premium of $100,000, raises his salary, in parallel arranging a show with the dismissal of the prosecutor general. In the country, flour is given on coupons. In this case, it is necessary to take a certificate about the composition of the family, so that in no case should you buy an extra kilogram. Now Turkmen do not have enough sugar, butter, eggs, cigarettes, etc. The G. Government began to resort to administrative measures, to introduce coupons and force sellers to lower prices, which resulted only in the fact that buyers pay for the goods, not the price indicated on. He display price tag, and the above named by the seller. The overwhelming majority of the country's citizens live extremely poorly, despite the fact that Turkmenistan is in the top 40 countries in tea. The world in terms of oil production, and in the top 5 in the world in terms of gas reserves. Someone will say that but they have a mortgage at 1%. Yes yes. Only to take it is unrealistic, because eh. T everyone will be given a loan for elite housing in Ashgabat. After all, loan payment significantly exceeds the average monthly income of many families. As a result, many houses remain unoccupied co. Completely. Everything is built, at home, hospitals, motels, children's camps. Only now they can not afford the majority of the population, everything is paid and prices are wild. Everywhere corruption. And theft. 
even remittances do not reach the recipient completely, and sometimes they do not reach at all, to be continued.